Okay, folks, I'm selling my 2022 Thor Outlaw 38 KB. The KB stands for King Bed. Unfortunately, due to um, a medical issue with the family, we cannot keep this beautiful vehicle. Um, I'm gonna take a quick video. In order to get it to this stage, the motorhome has to be running, put the hydraulic jacks down. And then you can open up the sides, which are be on the left side of the vehicle. But let me just show you all the cargo. We we'll also have a TV, LED TV with a sound bar. Here you have your water tank, your propane, front door, more cargo. That's actually a pass through. There's an outlet right there. More cargo house batteries also if the hydraulic jacks were to get jammed up you can do it manually lower them here dual tires your furnace here's the back door which will go inside in a second more cargo more cargo here's a propane hookup for an outdoor grill and as you can see the awnings are extended there's beautiful blue LED lights under the awning so at night looks pretty and you have the patio which is also the ramp to load your toys let it be an ATV a motorcycle it's all fenced in children dogs there's also a canopy out here it's extended also LED lights let's go to the other side with the extensions out this vehicle has a separate 30 gallon auxiliary tank with its own gas pump so if you need gas in your toys in the morning you just go more cargo 80 gallon fuel capacity here's your 50 amp hookup there's also <clears throat> added I put a 50 amp uh, smart surge protector hardwired there's also a coaxial cable hookup in here as well um, there's more cargo your water system this is where you flush there's also an outdoor shower you come off the beach when it rinse off take the sand off your feet out of the shoes more cargo more cargo generator it's the only 5500 very very quiet and more cargo uh, once the hydraulic jacks are down the system will tell you and then you can proceed to put the sides out nice and level I mentioned there's a coaxial cable hookup. Here's the engine. This vehicle only has 2,100 miles. It has not been used for any trips as of yet. I don't plan to. I do need to sell it. So the engine is mint, mint, mint. The whole vehicle is mint. Let's take you inside. I did mention about the coaxial cable up top. There's a satellite dish. We'll go inside. Here's the cockpit. These captain chairs swivel. It's also a table that goes in between. They recline. Up on top here is a bed. This queen size bed hydraulically comes down. Another TV in the dining area. Dining room table sits four comfortably. The sofa. Plenty of storage cabinets as you can see. Let's stay in this area here. Nice big LED screen. As I mentioned in my description, you put the blinkers on and the side view cameras come on and are displayed on the LED screen. That was the leveling system for the leveling jacks. Here's your control system, which by the way, can be downloaded onto your phone, an Android or iPhone, and everything can be controlled by that but you have your house, your master lights. It gives you the auto generator. You can start this generator from anywhere in the vehicle. There's all pads as well as your phone. Here's your lighting system. Temperature control, your furnace, your AC. Also has skylights throughout. They're vented, fans and open. 
From inside, here's how your awnings and your sides would retract. And then the rest of your settings. There are solar panels on top. Here's your controls for that, as well as your inverter. Kitchen, microwave, stove, cooktop, double sink. Tops can be used for cutting board. More storage, more storage. Your freezer. Refrigerator has not been used. Nothing has been used. We'll go into the bathroom. Nice size bathroom. Shower with a skylight. Also the vent. Plenty tall to someone over six foot. Can easily stand. I just want to back up so you can get a nice from the driver's seat. As we proceed into the bedroom, it's a king size bed. The side is out, but I did not fold the bed down. The plastic is still on the mattress, the manufacturing plastic. It has not been used. This vehicle is mint, mint, like new. Another extra I had in here. Installed a washer and dryer one unit. And then there's another TV in the bedroom as well. For privacy, these doors, all sliding doors close. The motorized shades come down. And then you can close this door as well. For complete privacy in the master bedroom okay every window every door has a screen so if you happen to be in a buggy area you can open up and you feel like you're outside and not have the mosquitoes get you there's a retractable stair to go into the garage this garage has another tv this is the fourth tv also has a trickle charger for your toys a tv a motorcycle so at night, if you need to trickle charge it, has its own stereo system separate from the front and again, another control panel for your lights, vents, etc. Vents. Garage has its own air conditioner, and its own skylight and windows. Let's go up here. This queen size bed fits too comfortably. And again, Plenty of storage. That's a couch. It's a jackknife couch on one side, jackknife couch on the other. It, they also fold into another bed. So another two can sleep comfortably down here. These patio doors open and close. And again, the panels slide down so they can just be a screen. Here on the garage where I'm standing, we saw from the outside the canopy, etc. Plenty of tie downs for your toys. I do want to go outside one quick thing. Go underneath, oh, by the way, for your tools, etc. No storage. Plenty of storage on this unit. Underneath, I had the undercoating done twice. Okay, because it's very, very important. And the last upgrade, besides the jack pads that I had put on and the power surge, I also had a front stabilizer bar upgraded, installed. I figured safety was important. Uh, again, I try to make this video very short. If you have any questions or you'd like to see any more videos or pictures, please reach out to me. Phone number 516-647-7688 or my email M-C-R-O-W, M-Crow, 52093 at yahoo.com.
Thanks for watching. Bye.